<laughs> we just dropped some new merch for the summer. We got two tie-dye t-shirts with embroidered art, as well as a sticker of both designs. You can get them right now on pleasestopshopping.com for $25. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pondering Spooky Tapes. In the deepest and darkest of woods, where not even the light of the moon can penetrate, two vile creatures indulge in dark delights and have conquered their comrades into capitulation. Now they wander these lands watching scary cinema, and there's a good chance you're next. Mandalore and Billy invite you to ponder some spooky tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Pondering Spooky Tapes with Billy, Mandy, Brendan, and also Ten. <laughs> Today Whoa. we're talking about oh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? <laughs> Classic Snick cartoon from the 90s up to the 2000s, featured on Nostalgia Critics Snick. We got that reboot though a few years ago. A continuation. It did get that. I I I I haven't seen anything about it. Actually, it is a continuation because Sardo shows up. Oh, Sardo does show up. Oh, I thought you meant it was a continuation, like it was grown men telling stories this around the campfire. Does. Honestly, that'd be fucking. That would be tight. awesome, dude. What did, I want to see? That would fucking, be fun. I want to see gr all grown up Gary still being a fucking asshole. <laughs> this story is about a storm front weather. Uh, the fucking storm front weather yeah. coming in because he's a weatherman now. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, I was trying to. I, my brain fell apart. Yeah. So the last three episodes, season seven are three episodes, one after the other, apparently. And those only have Gary. Instead of the rest of the kids like Tucker, Kiki, and yeah. Betty Ann. The main Steak. character of Dark. Yeah, Stick. I thought his name was Steak. Steak. The, we had like four or five different names we thought they were saying at first. That yeah. was like Stink, Stank, Stunk, It's because they, they, they got that fucking Canadian accent. This show is Canadian a, as fuck. This game was very sorry core. It was sorry boot core. I don't know why I game. Zed as hell. It's because you're thinking about joining the pack again. I was thinking that. about famous <laughs> video uh, game hyenas again. Uh, join the pack. Join the pack. Um, so how we did this episode, because obviously we're not going to fucking watch like seven seasons of a show to make an episode on it. Weak willed. Uh, we decided everybody would bring in an episode for approval to the pondering spooky tapes team that sucked i'm sorry that really <laughs> sucked <laughs> either way we all presented our favorite episodes or episodes that we were interested in my episode was the tale of the crimson clown which i was convinced was the zebo one until it started it was not and told Brendan, ah, oh, there'll be no clown. And Z then Zemo was, was in it. it. There was a cameo. He was in it. I mis I misremembered. I saw this when I was a kid. And I was like, I, I talked about this really, really quick. I was with my cousin. It was in New Jersey, Wildwood, New Jersey. We were in our room because there was like a fucking horrific storm outside. We couldn't go to the beach or anything. So we were just inside watching Nick. And this show started playing. It was maybe it wasn't even that late. It was like 7 p.m. And it was specifically this episode. In my head, I thought that the clown in this was called Zebo, but I was completely wrong. His name is like the Crimson Clown. And I remember getting to the part where he starts chasing the kid through the house, which Looking back at <laughs> looking back now, that shit is fucking incredible. It's so funny. He just runs and then he's waiting for him. It's it's intense for a little kid. It is. I I I just remember I was like telling my cousin, like, shut it off, shut it off. And then I just kinda I think I, I just stopped looking at the screen at that point because I was so scared and I was like it was probably like around 2002. So I was because I'm in 96, so I must. I, I was like 6, 7 when I saw it. Dude, that was horrifying. I'm 6, 7 right now. That's crazy. Yeah, I, the, that, so that was the episode I chose. I thought, if I'm being real, that it was the best episode we watched tonight. I was kind of disappointed by I, the others. I, I, would, I would put it at number 2. I, th I like the villain because it wasn't, you know, the clown. It was the child. Yeah, dude, that fucking kid sucks! 
That what a that dick. kid had an older brother that had never bullied him a day in his life. It is, dude. Yeah. What a pushover. That other, the fucking older brother in that story was such a pushover. The kid stole like seventy dollars, which. Seventy dollars is two hundred dollars by like today's standards, and all he did was buy a fucking Genesis game for his NES about Zebo the Clown. What a moron! A moron and an asshole. Well, and even the Zebo game he Fuck. bought came in a Sega. It did, box and yeah. like <laughs> he didn't even play it either. Him with his big Robotnik poster just running yeah, away dude. from a giant clown <laughs> the doll. The excitement. We have never had this much. In the commentary track, which you can listen to on our uh, merch site, you can get it there. When we saw like half of a Sonic poster, because it was just the top of the Sonic poster, and they cut out the Sonic the Hedgehog logo, Br Brendan Ten and I just screamed, Sonic! <laughs> <laughs> I just, I remember when we screamed that Mandy just went, Jesus. It was really fucking alarming. Oh my God. I, I just remembered this episode being like really scary. It's not as scary. I really do like that there was just a giant sign to show the disapproval that the clown had for Sam, the younger brother in the episode. Just a fucking... He kills his brother by inflating his head big and round, and it, it just bursts. As Brendan loudly pointed out. <laughs> okay, I, I, I've mentioned this like outside of like podcast stuff, but if you want to make Brendan laugh, all you have to say is inflation or big and round, and he will. He starts laughing so he's, hard. He's, he's doing it right now. I, I, I don't know why, but it, he, it just kills him. The poor man. <laughs> I started like coughing. I'm, yeah. Uh, uh, can I mention a weird note? A weird yes. bit. Um, so this first episode, Zebo the Clown. Um, one thing I thought that was Crimson really interesting. Clown. Crimson Crimson sorry, Clown. Crimson Clown. Not yeah. Zebo. Zebo's a different episode. So Crimson Clown. Uh, one thing I thought really interesting is how the set design also built into the weird little bits uh, at the very end in the yeah, last five minutes. I.e. the um. Uh, the the younger chill. Well, their their room, like the brothers share a room, but in their room there are a bunch of like road signs everywhere, and mm -hmm. I, I like how that was integrated into like two of the scares. Was that the was that the fucking reason why there was like a a, a cancel Sam sign? Cancel which Sam. honestly, Dude, if cancel culture is going to take any victim, it should it take should Sam. Be Sam, yeah, what a fuck piece him. Of that kid fucking sucks i hate him he's honestly the worst uh, we should explain what he did oh yeah he stole 70 dollars from no, his no, no, brother no, but but okay to buy zebo so, for the nes genesis he also didn't own a genesis the big brother got like saved 70 dollars which in the 90s that is 210 dollars he saved all that money for a gift for the shittiest gift I've ever seen for their mom on her. Hey, birthday. maybe she really liked shitty little. And statues. I still don't want to believe inflation's this high. It, it is. That could be it lower. Is. It's still a fuckload of money for the '90s. Seventy bucks. That's... It's crazy that we're talking about inflation for this episode too. Oh, <laughs> Brendan, you big fucking and round. Are, big you're, and round. He, he stole that money from the brother. But the entire time, it's it's not only because he stole it, it's because he acts like such a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, so the brother goes to return it, it's closed, so he's like laughing, clapping, and he's like, come on, hurry up. He's like, stolen it, but then he's aggravated at every little thing the brother's doing. Yeah. He has no regret. He's just so evil. Yeah, like, not often do I see that dynamic, too, which is interesting, which is the, like weakling older brother and like the golden child little brother who gets away with everything usually it balances out with the older brother being like i'm gonna push you down the stairs yeah like absolutely no and he had an ample opportunity to they get home and he tells mom like oh he wants to spend time with his friends and that's why we're late and, th and after the older fucking brother him over. doesn't say anything no and that's he, why he is that such way such a pushover he does nothing to challenge him, and that's why he is that way. Can I talk about the one bit that did scare me? When the hand came out of the TV, like the scary movie too. The hands came out of the TV, legitimately unsettled me. I think I laughed, and in the commentary track, you can hear Brendan go, "Ah!" The hand yeah, gets I, so I, long. I, I, we all laugh. I felt kind of, I felt kind of bad after I heard you go. Ah. I have a deep-seated fear of clowns, and it's very specific to non-scary clowns. The doll in this did not scare me. 
when it was fully visible. But when you yeah. just saw the red and the hands, it, it reminded me of being a kid and watching, um, do you know the nightmare movie where Freddy has the long arms? But like worse because oh, it's a clown. Oh, yeah. Does Lunette the clown freak you out? Oh, no. I'm, yeah, I'm down bad yeah. for Lunette. What the fuck? Why does Lunette? G she's the most normal cl like clown ever. Do it honk. Brendan. Do it squirt seltzer water. Sometimes she, I gotta say no, but I mean, Lunette kind of. I mean, Lunette kind of does though. What the fuck is Lunette from Big, Big Comfy, Comfy Couch. Couch? Big Comfy Couch. You don't know what the Big Comfy Couch is? No. Are you ready? Are you ready? The clock stretch. Oh, Are you ready oh, to clown her. around? Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen the show, but I have seen her. I thought you were gonna say you haven't seen the show recently. So I, I I'm gonna be honest. I watched it pretty recently because I was I I had this moment of like. I think Brendan's the only one who's also seen this because this no, is pretty funny. No, I was one of my favorite shows as a little kid. Oh, okay, okay. I don't, I don't know. I it was uh, that and, uh, I, Bear in the did, Big Blue did House. Did it play that often? Yeah, yeah. No, dude, it went on. I watched a lot of PBS. It went on for fucking ever. This is multiple generations of uh, multiple people generations. learning about the clocks. Maybe not, but uh, no. It, when I, I get like hyped is, up, what is that? Was it when 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 they go like? <laughs> I hear that yeah, song in my stretch. head when I get hyped up. I hear the clock stretch. Yeah, the yeah. clock stretch. No, it, I go I, fucking crazy. I, I, I lashed out at you because I thought you were talking specifically about me. I looked it up. The show was on the uh, air for like 20 wow. years. Nine, 92 to 2013. I told you. I told you. It, I was it, like, I watched it. It's old. Than you. No, this show it's is old clowns. as fuck. That's 20 years of clown. I mean, I don't think it was the same girl the whole time. but It was. It was? Yeah, Allison Court. Serious? Yeah. She's young. Good for her. She she was like really young when she started out as uh Lunette the clown. And they kept her as that clown. She she's not even fifty yet. She's like she's like forty nine. She has thirty or forty more clown years before she'll have to retire. <laughs> Put her makeup on the egg and then bury it in the backyard like all clowns do to birth a new clown from the ground hole. Fuck, I forgot about clown eggs. Yeah, clown eggs. That That's so they can keep their copyright and birth new clowns out of the breeding pits. You know what else she does? She's Claire Redfield. Huh. Is she in like the games? In or the like movies. Some, uh, in the movies. Okay, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She, she, she played the... Uh, Lunette the Clown played Claire Redfield. I don't. Th I don't know if she does anything anymore. I, I think she might have like. Oh no, she's still. Oh no, 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 she still does stuff. She was in the hit Cartoon Network TV show Almost Naked Animals. Ah yeah 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 No, hey, stop. Animals. <laughs> Stop. Oh, she was Jubilee. She was Jubilee in X Men animated series. Anyway, uh, the clown attacks the child. Yeah, yeah yes. but that child fucking deserved it. They, he Fuck uh, totally yeah. fucking deserved it. He totally deserved it. I will say, um, I, I don't think we mentioned why the clown is attacking the child. It's because in the store they were buying a gift for their mom. The clown was on the uh, like, oh, like yeah. on top of something, and the older brother was like, "If you don't, if you if you act up, he's gonna get you." Crimson clown is gonna get you. He's gonna Wait, get you. Just, he did that out of pocket. He didn't do it because of anything. Like he was just like no. Off the top of his head. Maybe we don't know the full story behind this, like, sibling rivalry, because maybe this brother uses, ma like, major manipulation to fucked get his up way. Fucked up crazy man. Like, no, he's got, he, like, a PlayStation 1 under the bed, right? What? He's not telling what? his little brother about the PlayStation 1, oh, but he's got a PlayStation 1 under the bed, weird. right? I don't think that's what happened. I mean, we were making Tiny Tim jokes at the end, but it basically was a Christmas Carol, just clown. It was. In, in, instead of disliking Christmas, you're a shithead little kid. I got another chance i got it what he he didn't get that much better also how did they get the money back uh, so he he was like begging the crimson did clown he? in that little dreamscape thing for a second chance he just and they basically kind of, like uh, undid him stealing the money because that's why they had the present at the end yeah. well it's just kind of like uh you know in jojo's so uh the the crimson king this is the crimson clown he ripped time backwards Oh my god. <laughs> King works. Fucking hell. Crimson the clown. I, I, I like this episode though. Like I in my head I, I thought like a lot since all this stuff is super old in my memory, I it, 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 I might have like fond memories because of nostalgia, but I thought it was a really fun episode. Uh, and most of like most of the episodes we've seen, if I'm honest, were pretty they were, they were pretty enjoyable. I get why it had like Four, seven seasons or something like that yeah seven seasons I, I wrote notes for a couple of them and for crimson clown i just wrote this kid's a shithead the episode so yeah 
Yeah, the arm coming on the TV reminded me of the scary movie too. Penis. It did, oh, yes. yeah. okay. and under the bed when the clown was under the bed, I immediately said in the commentary, "Scary yeah. movie too." Marlon Wayans. No, oh, they <laughs> reference, dude. The Grudge. How, oh, the totally Grudge referencing that it, fucking, right? Dude, the, the Grudge totally stole that fucking under the blanket scare. Fucking nothing I, has ever had an under the blanket scare. The Crimson Clown debuted it. How, well, actually, though, how many? movies have an under the blanket scare you know to be fair in the grudge though it does pull her under and then she's just gone yeah in this it's just clown there he is he looks back and he has the sign for no brother at one point like all of us individually during this episode said the older brother should have beat the shit out of his younger brother a little more yeah <laughs> he wouldn't be this yeah, way yeah. absolutely it, it was getting to a point like, when he's trying to return the item and the little brother's complaining he's taking too long, just really, really pushing it. I mean, it's because that kid is so... He's so irredeemably evil. It's kind of weird. Props to, to that kid for a, yeah. playing an irredeemable piece yeah. of shit kid, though. He, he looked like an Aryan Damon, Damien from The Omen. He, he, he was did. like Joffrey he, Core. I yeah, like yeah, yeah, you did say that. <laughs> he was... Oh, fuck. The older brother genuinely had like a superhuman amount of patience. I could the not older believe brother was that he didn't. <laughs> he, he never said anything bad or mean to him. He's just like, why did you take my money? That was for our mom's That's present. why God punished him with the Crimson Clown dream. He, he scared him a little bit. He was like, oh, Crimson Clown's gonna get The you. way he said like, did you steal? Like, he, he didn't go like, did you fucking steal my money? He went like... Did you steal my money? Uh, and he was like, yeah. it was kind of weird. It was very limp. Just disappointed. He was disappointed. I thought it was fun. Good, ep good episode. Good little episode. What's what's the next episode we watched? Uh, we started with the Midnight Society. That's your episode. No, Midnight, Midnight Madness. Madness. We're the Midnight Society. So I, I, I remember asking you, have you ever, like, what was your, because we basically, everybody picked their favorite or most scarring episode and you you told me that you have never seen an episode i don't you were like goosebump. to my knowledge i've never seen a single episode of the show i yeah, you were skimmed goosebump through kid. synopsis i was a, i was a goosebumps kid where does i where never did watched goosebumps, in the dark where did goosebumps air cartoon network it was in, in america network. uh yeah i don't know what it, i it might have been on some other channels some, too but it was it Definitely syndicated on Cartoon Network as well. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, when I ask, like, it's usually because I'm, I'm for American audience because I know that it was YTV. But wasn't YTV also Are You Afraid of the Dark? YTV was, yeah, or Are You Afraid of the Dark was made for YTV and Nickelodeon. It yeah. was like a joint thing because we didn't have Nickelodeon back then. Uh, I think nowadays... Canada does have Nickelodeon, but I don't remember Nickelodeon back then. Uh, like, just some of my fondest memories of being a kid was, like, Halloween night, like, sorting my candy and watching Goosebumps on Cartoon yeah. Network, like, shitting my pants over, like, the Haunted Mask episode. Whoa, okay, okay. So it aired at the same time on YTV. So Goosebumps oh. and Are You Afraid of the Dark both aired at the same time, but I just saw something that fucking... This is a French-Canadian just bomb that i just read it was on canal Femme, which means uh, family channel it is the the family channel hasn't existed in years i it, since 2001 that just brought me back because now that's called uh vrak which is v-r-a-k this is i'm sorry that just brought me the fuck back it fucked me up okay cool both are canadian both literally share multiple actors as well was goosebumps a canadian show yes it was produced oh. in ontario uh same as are you afraid of the dark if you watch episodes since you've seen goosebumps there's a ton of crossover actors between them yeah so the episode that i picked was a uh, tale of the midnight madness and the whole premise was there's a old movie theater that was kind of like it was dying it was dying it was yeah. like getting ready to they, shut they down. could only get an old fucking angry bitch in there <laughs> it was it was the same angry <laughs> old was lady so mean uh what was the character's name because you guys all knew him he's like a recur he's like one of the two recurring characters in the oh, show uh, dr vink dr, dr. Vink. vink yeah yeah he's dimitri oh he that's the one you told okay yeah i wasn't sure which one you were talking yeah, about yeah yeah 
We have told him in the past, like, you would be a great Dr. Vink for Halloween. <laughs> Sometimes he gets in the Dr. Vink mood. So if you're one to visualize Dimitri, it's fucking Dr. Vink. But taller, probably. Probably yes. bigger. Because Vink is pretty short. Yeah, Vink is a little guy. He, he's like the same height as the, the kids in this. Because Brendan was talking about uh, Orson Welles and the whole clap. Yeah. But he does kind <laughs> yeah. of look like Orson Welles. Ah, he does, the French he does. champagne. A more he, he deranged source and Wells. You know what vibe he gave me, like, immediate, like, first frame that he was in, in my brain? I was like, he kind of looks like Jack Black. No. But then he walked around a little I more, and it was like so. a Jack Black mashed together with more Orson I, I, Wells. I, 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 I when Brendan said that, I was like, I kind of, it's a vibe I got. The thing that got me was the fucking teeth, dude. It was so they yellow. Were yellow. The first shot was so yellow. It looked like he had like flavacol all over his teeth. You know what flavacol is? No. Fla okay, flavacol is the pow the butter powder they put on popcorn. <laughs> he was just like the, the real butter yellow. powder out back. Yeah, before because he they came in. the he entire episode just... has so much popcorn in it, and we kept making jokes like, "Oh, they're gonna eat the floor." Oh no, because Brendan eats the floor popcorn. I eat the floor popcorn every time I go yeah, to the movie so, theater. I eat it. It's like a little yeah, treat. So I kept, I, I, I kept thinking about. I had popcorn on the mind, and then I just see his teeth, and I was like, "Oh my god, it looks like fucking buttered popcorn with flavacol." Sometimes you make the movies. Sometimes the movies make it into you. Yeah, this says a lot about society. It's does say a lot about society i don't really have much to say about this uh this one episode though uh, cool effects for the screen I, yeah I cool, say, very I'm going cool. in and out of the screen were pretty cool effects that's I one like thing that every single one of these has is just the practical effects are just they're really good okay that's a lie so they're charming crimson C crimson clown has the worst by far that doll looked pretty shit. that doll looked very shit but this Nosferatu episode, because it, for all intents and very purposes, veiny. this is they they referenced they referenced entire shots of like the original Nosferatu. Yeah. Except here, it's Nosferatu, the, the demon, demon vampire. vampire. Yeah, when I saw that, I, I I was wondering if they were actually going to show Nosferatu, Nosferatu. because I th isn't Nosferatu public it's domain? Public domain. Now? It is. Yeah, it, it, that's yeah. why the SpongeBob I, I guess, gag is has them. Yeah. I, I guess they might have been like, oh, that would be too scary. But then same year as this episode, the Nosferatu episode of SpongeBob came out. Yeah. So I don't know. They, they I, I guess for the con continuity, they decided to make their own Nosferatu black and white movie. Oh, of course they did that. Because at the end of the episode, the kid goes into the fucking yeah. movie. Plus, That's they right. had the, the horrible bite mark on Jason Alexander Tony oh, Soprano. yeah. They dude, did do that. He was the Gabagool Supreme. First, he you was... get the Gabagool, then you get <laughs> bit by the Gabagool. Yeah, he got ghouled. He got ghouled solid, dude. He was, um... Take his ass to ghoul school on the Shaggy and uh, Scooby bu uh, fucking bus. Should we, should we kind of, like, lead in with the actual premise of this episode? Yeah, we, oh, we, we, we should we, talk we, we about got, what happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man arrives at failing movie theater. Give them a funny record. Say, "Hey, play my it's movie a film." Right? I, 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 I put it on a wheel. They're both circles. All right. You know what? You're hey, being a real there. square for somebody who talks so much about circles. Keep going. Uh, old man's like, "Hey, play my movie. It'll be really epic and cool." And then uh, the the theater owner Tony Soprano will be like, "Nah, dude, that sucks." But then surprise. Film reels are old and also on fire. And also at this point, they got a notice that it was closing. The The theater was being shut down in two weeks. So it was yeah, kind of like... This episode was one of those, like, gotta save the rec center episodes, but for a movie theater. So they, so they put on the movie that the old man brought in, and it's Nosferatu, the demon vampire. Everyone loves it. Everybody loves it so much that one old lady, the grumpy old lady that we talked about <laughs> before, comes back like three or four different times to see it. Every Yeah, she's like, I'm gonna come back every day, and goddamn, she was not lying. She is just constantly going there. So Dr. Vink, the guy who brought the movie in and said that he made it, said that the deal was he wouldn't charge them any money, he would let them show the movie, but they had to pick one night a week to show all of his movies. The D Tony Gabagool, the owner of the guy, the movie theater, was like, we're not doing that, uh, I'll write you a check. And then he cursed the movie theater, and Nosferatu comes out of the <laughs> yeah, screen. <laughs> yeah, 
Could, I the le- what was the lesson to this one? Oh, the lesson uh, was don't make don't a, make a promise you're going to break. Or because, like, yeah, yeah, that's that that's basically what it was. Yeah, because that's basically what happened. He was like, yeah, I'll do anything if you if you can get somebody in, I'll do anything you want after. And that the thing was like, oh, you but you one said night a week. you would. Yeah, one night a week show my movies, and then he was like, you know what? No, we're not doing that. They're like sending me actual real movies to show now, so I'll just write you a check. This is this is one of those episodes that even ends on a like, oh no, the horror will continue forever because then Vink is like, I bought real estate, I got the movie theater, and then he's, I have so many movies to show you. I've just purchased this theater. You what? Believe me, I've got many, many more that are far better than this one. <laughs> I like the idea that these kids and that manager were like, oh my they, God, he like, bought the movie theater. They could just quit. They could just quit, but they're like, nah. What's he playing today? It's a new movie he made just called Blood. And get the mop. Get the mop. Get the mop. This one's oh 4D again. God. He'd be playing the 4D movie on the cinema screen. They're all 4D. I'm- Put your 3D glasses on. Nosferatu is coming at more you. like 40 year olds go and see this movie. He was saying that the only thing he would show are like black and white movies as Silent well. Movies. Uh, he wanted to show off the extended Dr. Vink cinematic universe. It would not take no for an answer. I have much scarier films. <laughs> this one's a prequel to Nosferatu. <laughs> Ooh. Fun little fact that I found. Uh, Chris Heyerdahl, the guy who played Nosferatu in this episode, played... He, he was in True Blood, also as a vampire, and he was one of the Volturi in the Twilight movies. Damn! He's He's got that vampire he's, he's vibe. He's got a vampire vibe. He was also the sheriff from Far Cry 5. <laughs> Like and everything else he was in, I've never heard. Of. <laughs> oh, he he was he was in Sicario, Day of the Salado. Oh shit! Okay, I didn't know Sicario and had vampires. That's crazy. And yeah, that's the crazy. original Twenty One Jump Street TV show. I, oh, <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. I thought you. I thought it was no, like my name is Jeff no, Twenty One no, Jump Street. Yeah. No, the TV show that the movie got the name from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always forget that did come from a show. Shit. Uh, I oh, I did not a... know. I'm gonna be honest. I I learned that right now. <laughs> he was he was in Star Trek Discovery for the two people who watch oh! Star Trek in here. <sighs> Discovery. I, incredible groan. Oh, and for Billy, he was in Peacemaker. Oh, he was I in love Peacemaker. Peacemaker. He, was, he was he was Captain Locke in Peacemaker. Oh, oh, oh he's oh, that yes, guy. He's, he's that guy. Right. He, oh, fuck. That was that was Nosferatu from this episode. <laughs> he looks like an Nosferatu. Oh, wow. Yeah, he has the face shape for he's it. He's got it's the face shape. He does have a very angular face. He kind of looks like um oh what's his face who plays Tarkin and like yeah. Frankenstein in the universe in the old movies. Oh, what's Peter Cushing? Oh, he was a ma- he was a major he was a major character in Twilight. Yeah, he was the Vulture. He was dude. yeah, he was he the- was Marcus. Okay, I'm I'm gay enough that I've watched those movies recently. I watched it with you. What we watched those? Yeah, I know. He's one of the big. He's one of the big vampire head guys. I like the first one. I think the first one holds up. It's a good fun time. I get it now. I want a I, I, I want a vampire. I think I- when we were watching it, both of us were saying, "I get it." By buying buying gay people be like watching the first Twilight when they're in their twenties and going oh fuck yeah I if get you're it. if you're bi or gay and also in your twenties and you think if you think Twilight sucks go watch it right now because it actually kind of rocks you don't even you know what you don't even have to just fucking just imagine that uh, Edward is like a very strong female did you know that they uh, the fucking author of those books wrote a gender swapped version of the first book really yeah that's real they she did that. wow and, and then know, a bunch of right. guys who read the book were like i get it i get it now i get yeah. it now it's it was only the first awesome book though that, uh, right it it, wasn't... i think it was only the first one right okay. i was really weirdly hoping in this episode the midnight madness uh, while 10 looks up twilight information i was weirdly hoping that they'd swap film reels and it would still be magic and then they'd summon some kind of action hero to fight nosferatu want some guy to just punch him it was a life and death twilight reimagined it was written by the same author but it was a gender swapped version uh, that was my fun little fact though he played vampires in other movies if the vampire girl wanted to eat me now i understand yeah. figures 
It's I did watch cool. those movies a few years ago. Just they're not see. they're not as bad as I like. I mean, they they could never. They have fun moments. Some of them get really fucking boring. Yeah. Oh no, they totally get fucking boring. boring is the worst they get though. In my when opinion. the final fights start getting crazy, I went, "Oh, this is this the is fucking, a dream or it's some bullshit," and it was. The, if you hate Twilight, watch the baseball scene and try not. <laughs> Dude, to Dude, I love super massive black hole baseball scenes. Muse. <laughs> genuinely that scene does kick ass it <laughs> is g- amazing fucking beautiful it's fucking actual art twilight is art there i said it i put a rating for that picking picking this episode really was just an excuse to talk about twilight for me <laughs> vampire attacks the fucking me hopefully movie theater the gabagool vampire attacks the sanctity of cinema yeah, who so okay just to be clear, we did watch an episode that w- will not be in the commentary track unless we find a fix, but the r- the recording got, uh, we had issues with recording, so it's not in the commentary track, but we did watch it because <laughs> it's Mandy's, up. yeah, it, it's, it's Mandy's it. pick. What's interesting is how many of these where we go, oh, I had a nightmare about that as a kid. Yeah. It wasn't really the subject. It was more the environment. Very, It's like very specific things about it. When you had your nightmares about Crimson Clown, it was him being in the kind of Nightmare on Elm Street like nightmare world. When he was in the old antique shop, right? Yeah. The old antique shop, and it was all dark and spooky, and then there was just the clown Mm-hmm. The, the the owner with the clown mask just fucking running after the kid. I had no memory of Badge himself. I remembered. I don't. There was a spooky, glistening swamp that was moving all the time, and there were skeletons in it. Yeah, and it looked like hell. I mean, that was to be it. fair. Badge is hell. Badge is goopy. I don't know why, but in my brain, um, do you know like the uh, the cops in Half Life? Yeah, the yeah, Metro ev- cops. The whole episode we were watching, and I don't know why, but something was resonating in my head of one of the cops yelling "Badge," and every time he appeared in my head, I would think <laughs> "Badge," like one of the Half Life uh, civilian uh, protect civil protection agents would say. Uh, yeah. So, tale of Badge. Very Irish. Uh, the was the old woman was Irish. I don't. She think was anything that, else about it was Irish. Everything else was pretty much invented, like the setter wind. The setter wind. The setter wind. The setter wind. It's basically the plot of Clock Tower Three. Shout out to anybody who got that, because you'll immediately understand what the plot of this is. It's basically like women in a long. Li- oh, it's also it's also, it's like also Buffy. Like, it's also like Halloween Town and Halloween Town. Yeah, it, why that's is that what I was thing? thinking when they were like, "Oh, it goes yeah. from grandmother to granddaughter." I was like, oh, "Yeah, it's like Halloween Town." If I didn't give a shit, I haven't thought about it, but that's such a like very. It's like a really popular trope in like in, in Halloween stuff and yeah. horror. Children's just Halloween like, media. Yeah, just like the the women in the family all inherit a power. Which although presence. Let's be fucking real. This was the lamest shit ever her pa- what did the kid the little brother in us he-, he puts it really well but i can't fucking make it out in my head what is it that he said like that's it my sister's some kind of witch and all she gets to do is babysit a boogeyman in a box that's weak no 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 she she had more stuff that she could do she had more stuff that she could do we should like, we should what? go over the premise of the episode first okay fine mandy you you tell your trauma. This is your story for the Midnight Society. Uh, there's a girl mad her brother has a bigger brain than her, and she quit band because she sucks at band, but her grandma says, you have to be good at band. You have to. You have a special talent. I can feel it. And, th- and she has the badge box, which says badge on it with musical notes over it, and it has a flute and a J.O. crystal. She plays it and summons badge. Badge shows up and is kind of quirky. It's Grandpa's J.O. Crystal. How would you describe Badge, any of you? He was He's not classified enough for my look. Just, he looked like <laughs> yeah, a Mike Bush we- character that got onto the wrong set. <laughs> we, 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 we're trying to traumatize Mandy because Mandy's really upset. I, I he was really upset. <laughs> he, you don't want... Yeah, Badge... I tried to see if somebody yassified Badge. No uh, one has fucking drawn Badge, no much one less yassified badge. badge. 
it's time to change that. He could we be, don't need he that. He could be the We're putting a public Mandy. call out to you, the world, the, you, <laughs> the, the world the girl doesn't need reading bad. This, the girl reading this, please draw Yossified Badge. We're going to get it trending on Twitter. He could be a total uh, hunk. We're going to need to see Vag for Badge. Hashtag <laughs> Badge <laughs> for Badge. Please. Hashtag Vag for Badge. He's going to be the next Tumblr sexy man. That's what I'm saying. He's not. He's a disgusting, like... He not if we not got, when he popped enough. in, Billy said he looks like a Skaven. He does. Fucking Brendan said said he looked like a rat it was well he does look and like I a rat didn't say anything he barely like, looks like a badger like i think he's a fucking monster i don't know if he's supposed to be he's a, badger, a goblin though. he's a goblin he, yeah Calm he's a down. goblin she read in they, the book she read in the book that he's a goblin he doesn't look like a badger at all though he, no he, he's a he horrible very rat man. much he very much looks like a rat he's a rat goblin man yeah i think that the prosthetics are fucking incredible he was yeah. goopy i really fucking hate that his mouth is dripping yellow mucus. Ooze. Brennan it's, it's, said he was a it, goopified something. What did you say again? It was oh, something God. foul. Fuck, I don't remember. Shit. A goopified goopified I don't something. Know. The, the most foul thing Brennan said is when he said Peepaw's J.O. Crystal and that's what he kept <laughs> calling it the rest of the fucking like, yeah. minutes of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> that's the crystal that traps Badge and the little brother decides to steal the fucking badge box i'm so pissed I, I the first thing i did when i saw the badge box was say oh badge as in notes musical notes on a p like musical notes b-a-d-g-e and then it took the entire fucking episode for anybody to realize because the worst part is you can it shows b-a-d-g-e like the notes that you need to play on the box where are you um, I was so pissed. It took so long for anybody to notice what to do. Ugh. Did they? Did they ever talk about what Badge wanted, or did they just? He they wanted. He say. wanted the center wind because she does. She doesn't understand what the center wind is. I thought he was saying center wind. I thought like, oh, I want the was center the wind of their family. It was. Yeah. It was. Oh. She didn't. Re she didn't realize it because it was an old family name. Because the center wind magic kept him locked in his horrible little box. And he wanted the setter wind, which could have also meant the crystal magic. I because she didn't know. I don't know, yeah. He was also like talking about wanting to hang her in his garden because he had a bunch yeah, of oh, skeletons. All the hung bunch. skeletons there. Yeah, badge, no, is, badge is such such a jellico cat. Such a <sighs> He is not a fucking <laughs> jellico cat. He a hundred percent fucking killed so many people though. I was I was pretty surprised. This was like the f the one episode where we watched it today and it was like full blown skeletons. Dead that bodies. was they dead ass. Well, dead, dead man's ass float. Dead, dead ass dead. Dead man's float was the rotting corpse man. Yeah, he was, he was. He was moving though and alive. Yeah, sort but of. It, it's these not were like corpses. These were straight up corpses, and you can tell how they died, which is why I, when I saw that, that's when I was like, oh wow, I they actually went. It's a there. little intense for little that, kids. For, for a little kid. That's really intense. That's a fucking. He was hung like that. What the hell? <laughs> Who was he was Badge? almost as hung as fucking Peepa when he would charge up his Jo crystal. He was almost as hung as Badge. If everybody listening has the same imagination we do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, want yassified God. Badge. <laughs> writing my uh, Badge. I'm, I'm writing my Badge screenplay to give to Wes Anderson called The Fantastic Mister Fuck. <sighs> <laughs> it's gonna be a sex badge movie. It's gonna be epic. Uh, he lives in a your fucked up worst stake of a. Was it you who yeah. said he talked like Yoda? Yeah, yeah. he talked like Yoda. That's because he does. He does <laughs> he really. Does. No, he, he does. doesn't talk he backwards. He's does in he? a box. Yeah, Sometimes he does. he does. Yeah, he, 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 he lives in a fucking box. He talked he a little quirky. But he talked quirky, and he definitely at one point went <clears> like. <throat> Badge knows. Na, na, yeah, na, 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 he, he did third person. He a referred bit. to himself in the third person. He talked backwards sometimes. I yeah, guess he, I guess he is Yoda. It was it was an inconsistent Yoda. Yeah, they She's do talk about Yoda. Boggs so much more than I thought in that episode. They, which is what scared you. So I guess it's fitting because while we were watching, you were like, "Oh, fu Badge sucks," but like, what scared you was the fucked up flesh bog. Oh, dude, I can't... They, there was, like, a weird flesh bag with blood dripping in the bog. That was weird. Can I chime in really quick just about Yoda? <laughs> yeah. I think, it's, I think it's really funny that he talked like that. Because they had another... 
Yoda species Yaddle. Char- yeah, Yaddle. I was going to talk about Yaddle. She doesn't talk like that. It's it's a it's a. It's I a, did learn that recently. Yaddle, yes. Yaddle got me down bad in Dagobah. Yaddle is a woman. It's, she's a, it's she's a, a woman, woman Yoda. Yeah, but she oh, has the same uh, species her. of Yoda, but she yeah. doesn't talk like that. So it's just Yoda. It's not they, like that species. It's just how no. he talks specifically. <laughs> they had a Clone Wars or Star Wars something come out in the past year or two that had Yaddle talk for the first time, and she speaks completely normally, <laughs> Normal. meaning Yoda's just a freak. Yoda's just doing a bit, and I respect it. <laughs> That's really funny. Yaddle is fucking disgusting. No she was a... Uh, hey, Mandy, she's in Phantom Menace. She, she was in Phantom Menace. Yeah, she was part of the. Is Jedi she in the Council second movie? Point. Was she in Phantom Menace? She, I don't she, remember. She's in that. a chair. She's in one of the prequels. She's a uh, in the Jedi Council in one of the prequel movies. I forget which one. I she think sit, it was she one sits or two. There in a chair. Oh, weird. I don't remember yeah. that at all. Because people like saying that Baby Yoda is her and Yoda's secret love child. Which, who knows? Maybe she doesn't. She doesn't oh, Grogu, say anything of those. Fucking Yoda, Grogu, and Yaddle. One happy Do you think family. Grogu's gonna talk like that? <laughs> if if they have Grogu talk and he talks uh, normal, Yoda's bullshit. If he it. talks like Yoda, then Yaddle's a fucking freak. Why the fuck they call that thing Grogu? Shit. <laughs> they, they fucking call him Goku. I hope. At the oh, end of- when you Google Grogu, there's a little baby Yoda that appears. That freak. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> That's his no, name. he's just no, he's just like on the he's like Hold moving on, on oh, my you're browser. Right. It's like Hold bonsai on, buddy. Grogu? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, he's, you got like a bonsai he's buddy. He's using the force. <laughs> oh, he's fucking the page up. Look at that. He's fucking the page. That freaked me. <laughs> what is this? Guy? What the fuck? Why? Listener, make sure that you open up Google and Google Grogu oh. right now and click on him so you can fuck up your people. Oh, also that ask. freaked me out. I just, I was just like looking up Grogu <laughs> images and I just see Grogu m- magically walk up to me. Fuck people off. also ask: Is Grogu actually Baby Yoda? Grogu and Yoda are not the same character. They're both <laughs> what it fucking. Disgusting. Disgusting. There is that fourth Yoda thing that was leaked from uh, Andor. The second season. Oh, seriously? I gotta watch Andor. I heard it's great. I've heard There's gonna be an after credits scene where a uh, another Yoda appears, but he's red. Oh, is Andor evil. not? Stop. <laughs> red, <laughs> red Yoda. No, he's gonna be stop. red and evil. You're and fucking tall. lying. Do you know what the fucking stupid You're thing fucking about lying. Grogu is? I like looking that he's 53 years old. They age differently. That's how Yoda's. That's so eight, or, eight or nine hundred. You're, you're a dumb. Dumb shit baby for 53 years? Yeah, I, a when, stupid race. When that show first came out, I had a friend Damn. gaslight me into thinking that his name was actually Glub Shitto for the first like, week. <laughs> oh my god. So I was just like, oh yeah, Glub Shitto. Guys, I just wanted to confirm on the Wikipedia, Grogu's pronouns are he, him. Good. <laughs> I haven't heard Grogu He's confirm got that. He's fucking pronouns. Grogu got pronouns. I'm not watching this fucking show anymore. Not because of the pronouns, but because it stinks. <laughs> that Jack Black episode is one of the worst things I've ever seen. Oh, Lizzo's in it too. I was gonna say, isn't Lizzo in that one? Yeah, Lizzo's that one in has it. like an entire plot that gets repeated just for the Jack Black scene. Oh, stop! They, they, poor Doc Brown. Got to not think about it anymore. I had a friend who was like, "You gotta watch Mandalorian," and I watched it until it was Magnificent Seven, which is already a remake of a fucking samurai movie. Yeah, and I was like, "I don't care to watch this," and he's like, "No, no, 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 no!" But you have to watch it because the new episode's like Die Hard, and I was like, "I don't think you understand why I don't like this." <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a, that show's just been unfortunate for me in general. Bad, it's, it's attacks that old Irish woman. Bad attacks that fucking old woman, and he oh he the like grandma grabs portal. Fucking, How could I forget yeah. about oh, the grandma? The gra- Oh, oh, right. She, she, she yeah. walks to the fucking Dark Souls boss fog. <laughs> she does. She, <laughs> fu- she fucking does. Oh my god! I totally forgot. She just <laughs> fucking goes in the Bloodboard portal, and it, instead of the fucking cleric beast, it's bad. She she fucking walks to the Dark Souls boss fog, and then like force pushes her granddaughter out. <laughs> So she's 1v1-ing Badge. And, but she doesn't even do she, shit. <laughs> Dude, Badge is, is super short and kind of a... He looks weak. I could fucking take him in a fight. Dude, if me and my friends saw Badge, we would kill him with hammers. I'll tell you that Also, much. she's dumb as shit. Because she's outside of the fucking bog. And then she's planning to go back in the bog to fucking 
trap or beat the shit out of Badge, instead of arming herself, like getting a hammer or a fucking baseball bat, she just brings a flute. What are you fucking doing, dipshit? Well, because the flute's going to de-summon Badge and uh, take that. him back to the Crystal Caves. Well, who yeah. are you, Batman? Fucking kill him. No, I feel like this is definitely kill a problem Badge. that could be solved by going into Badge's domain and then beating him to death with a hammer. Hammers. With hammers. Like the, death I mean, if it worked for me, it, it worked for me in Demon Souls in the Swamp of Sorrow. It should work He's for anybody in the Badge bog. Badge is The Badge bog has a trophy, has trophy trees like Predator 2. It does. Badge has a There's gallery a of, of skeletons. I'm not he, so sure he'd be easy. How many of those skeletons had hammers like around them? Though? Yeah, to be Zero. fair, he gets them by surprise. <laughs> yeah, not me. He has the element of surprise. People aren't prepared. But the thing is, she was prepared. Well, there was the one scene where you see his hand grab her shoulder. She jumps back. And then she turns around and he's like across the bog. Oh, he does have teleportation yeah, magic. He has teleportation. I, just quick. It's Canada. Get grandpa's hunting rifle. What the fuck are you I'm, doing? I'm going into bed as Rattlin' Bog and I'm just sticking a hammer out in front of me and spinning around in circles. I'll get him eventually. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Let's do it. Badge <laughs> what are you going to do? Hour. Get close to me? How would you? Okay, fine. How would fine. you defeat Every, Badge? How would you defeat Badge? You get one of the hockey sticks out of the closet and start air juggling him. Yeah, just fucking air juggle him. <laughs> If if the if a ninja turtle can fucking do it, you can spin a stick too. Every moment where Badge is on screen, I do not see a moment where Badge is off of the ground. I.e., if I go His into my big Canadian house, if I go into my big Canadian house and I walk into Grandpa Peepaw's office, move past his crystal collection, and walk over to his big bucket of caltrops, I just have to throw those <laughs> on the ground, and Badge will be easily defeated. <laughs> Grandpa's Caltrop. <laughs> I mean, if you don't got a grandpa with a Caltrop uh, collection, what are you even doing with your grandparents? Oh, you're so fucking right. Dude, I don't know. You're in Canada. Every grandpa has a fucking hunting rifle. Just go get that. And if you ain't got Caltrops, they got bears in Canada. Grandpa got some bear traps. And if you're not going to put them on the ground, you can put them on your hand and bite them with your hands. I don't hands. know, but I feel like there's so many ways. He, he's like... I would buy so many big glue traps and I would take a picture of him stuck in a glue trap like Yes! <laughs> oh, speaking of drawing like, oh, Yasified you know Actually, Badge. Badge is a badger. I'd get my cousin Johnny to throw a knife at him. That's a Listeners, callback. can you please a draw a badge from in a glue Are You Afraid of the Dark in a glue trap? <laughs> 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 draw him with the big he needs fucking abs, ass. Though. Yeah, draw, yeah, I don't draw want him with a fat fucking bubble draw... butt stuck to a glue <laughs> trap. The glue trap yeah, is listen. healing. Those other details are not. That's listen, I'm, those I'm, are new I'm, nightmares. I'm on my hands and knees right now for you specifically. Like the girl reading. The girl this right reading is draw a gasified oh. badge dying in a glue trap. <laughs> <laughs> Like the Dobby uh, picture. I like the Dobby <laughs> picture, but it's Badge from but Are You Afraid of the Dark? But he's also got a really fucking fat ass. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Get the little, little flute is just out Why? of reach. <laughs> if, if, you, if, you, if you DM me a picture of uh, fucking... <laughs> Uh, Yossified badge dying in a glue trap on Discord, and you're the first person to do it, I'll Venmo you $5. I will, <laughs> I will disappear into the tundra if I see that. This is this is an actual fucking call to arms. Uh, this is a call to arms. I'm fucking, I'll send you merch. Dude. First person to do it and prove it. I'll send you I, I'll send you free fucking PSD merch. He's glue, gotta be doing the pose it, from he's the gotta Dobby do dying the pose. in a glue trap. He's oh gotta God. have a fat... <laughs> Fat ass. We still talk about Dead Man's float. The <laughs> Boy, hey, Mandy, Mandy, we're rallying the troops right now. Could you calm down a little bit? I'm fucking crying. <laughs> I'm just thinking about Badge in a glue trap. <laughs> Dog in a glue trap, specifically. With a fat ass. <laughs> he just says, why is everyone so mean to me? <laughs> I take that back. I looked on Google. Someone has drawn Oh, badge. shit. What? Somebody's drawn him, but not the way no. that I think it's for a thumbnail or something. But look, there is a drawing of badge. I need it in a specific way. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not the same. That's like, no, that's it's for not. like a fucking thumbnail. That is a drawing of badge, he though. Like, he's, it's like he's a wiki a how. Trap. It's like a he's wiki how drawing. <laughs> how to trap badge in a glue Why trap? Why the fuck is this an image? <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, the fuck is this an image? Tampa police chief placed on leave after flashing badge during traffic stop. <laughs> and there's a picture of a badge. Bad she <laughs> badge. That's, that's, that, that's, that's the look on Badge's face when he goes, Boy! Oh my god. Fucking, I fucking hate this episode. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I think of all the episodes we watched, it's the... It, it, it might be the most... It, I, I don't think it's the most boring, but I think it's the worst. It, it was it was my it's least favorite bad. of four. It was pretty bad, but Badge is really easy to make <laughs> fun of, so I recommend watching uh, with friends. The the, the oh environment was a little scary. The, it was. the fucking Ratlin bog was a little intimidating. His bog of skeletons is the real nightmare fuel. Yeah, I mean, it literally had a fucking weird flesh pocket where like it was like dripping blood or something like it was gross as fuck i don't know that but fuck that bog but most importantly fuck badge let's move on uh, let's talk about the best episode pick. dead man float like i like i said at the beginning we've we've talked about this fucking episode many times it's the reason why we're doing this episode on afraid are you afraid of the dark because at this point we wouldn't shut the fuck up about it, so we might as well talk about it. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have, like, the best memory, especially not of, like, television like this. I, I, I barely remembered anything. I, I did not remember, like, why there was a ghost or anything. Or, or not a ghost. I, I don't know what he is. Actually. He's a ghost. He's a ghost. He, he, he was always in the the pool, or he just appeared there one day. No, 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 he was in the vague area. He was invisible, though. Yeah, I'm like, saying that when it flashes back to the yeah. 50s, when he drowns the first kid, he was just already there somehow. It just yeah. appeared. The start of this is like a fucking... It, it felt like a giallo, I'm gonna be honest. It felt exactly like one of those really weird... No, it actually... It felt more like one of those Spanish horror movies from the 80s that were trying to be, like, more brutal than a normal slasher. This is really specific, and I don't think anybody's going to get what I'm saying unless you're, like, stupidly into horror. Wait, no, 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 that's right. When they talk to the janitor man, right? He yeah. said it was built over a, it, a, graveyard, a graveyard or something. Mm -hmm. They yes. missed one body. They moved all the bodies somewhere. Else. That's oh, right. It was, one, is that's it right. Was. It they, was the did, ghost of man. Was it he just graveyard appeared. or was it or did they go for the fucking? No, it was a graveyard. Like, okay. It was a great. It wasn't wasn't he, American he, he burial said they ground. They built the pool over okay. a graveyard. They moved all the bodies somewhere else, but they missed one. And the ghost just appeared one day in the fifties and started wreaking havoc. Yeah. Started drowning kids. Yeah. There were like five kids that drowned. We did I, see yeah, the kid drowning as I was, well. I was gonna say this is the one episode that we watched tonight. I asked during one of the uh, either the first one or the second one. I was like, "Did they ever kill a kid in one of these episodes?" They do. Dead man's float kills a kid. We when we watched Crimson Clown was when you asked that, and I just remembered like what I said was in my head. I don't think I I don't remember them killing kids. I remember them like and implying it, implying or giving them a, a fate, fate that is death. worse than death honestly you didn't learn your lesson so now you're stuck in the bog forever you didn't so learn your lesson so you're going into the fruit cellar with henrietta for three hours yeah you shit like that lesson, so now some weirdo bought the place you worked at but uh very wrong the the this this one fucking kills not the on kid. screen <laughs> not oh, on screen but you can hear kid. the kid going yeah. <laughs> What was the lesson to this one, actually? I don't uh, even... You shouldn't try to calculate the volume of your school building because you'll find a haunted pool. Yeah. Why was he measuring the dimensions of his school? To make it into a to doom make it map. We doom already map. talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if it had cooked in anyone's brain for a new theory, but that'll have to stay. That's the only, it, it's the only period I have oh, I know that, it's right. That would be period accurate, too. Yeah, yeah that's 1994, it, yeah. 1995. Yeah. Doom just came out. Damn. Doom just came out. It's time to make my school. Everybody's making their, their Doom wads, their Doom maps. Time to make your school. Don't be distracted if you're a lifeguard or else a child may die. A child will die and somebody will make a Doom wad of your school. Make sure you know about chemicals. That, too. Oh, yeah. Because and he right, said genuinely. it smells like an acid, so now I'm going to make him based. And he poured <laughs> coloring on him. He made that corpse based. 
I can't yeah. believe he made that corpse watch 400 hours of Ben Shapiro compilation <laughs> videos. Shut up. <laughs> the, the monster design was actually like... It Excellent. was it was intimidating. For it's a children's just show. as it, it's just it's as spooky. good as I remembered. I, I, he it's spooky. It, it looks like there's gore falling off of the fucking I, dead man. He looked like a Resident Evil Five campaign extra. It's what makes the episode <laughs> so famous is that it comes out of the water and it's just a rotting corpse. It looks like the skin is falling off of it. Tinted Brenda, red. They did not tie that guy to the back of a track hawk and drive around for forty eight <laughs> hours. Don't say that. <laughs> there's one thing I forgot, and it's like. The the dead man gets out of the pool after he becomes based, and you can see because he is invisible for the entire thing until he bastes him up <laughs> like a turkey, like a turkey, and then dead man's ghost is just uh, dead man's float. I mean, just decides like fuck this, I'm getting out of the water. Pool is closed. I think that is a little weird that he was able to get out of the pool after that. <laughs> it's weird, but it, it it's fucking gross. Like, the, well, they the like gore? explain it too in the episodes. They say he doesn't need to hide anymore. Like he can't hide anymore. He just wanted to kill. There's just like this fucking. He he becomes like a pile of gore that bubbles away and just like slowly slithers out of the fucking draining pipe drainage pipe oh that was goopy after the janitor went into shock and went like dracula pose it is actually evil dead blood Those children how do you fucking first aid for somebody in shock <laughs> You, you you put them in a recovery position. You put a towel, like you put a blanket over them. Well, because they show the flashback at the beginning when the kid dies. Like to explain, Dead Man's Float starts off with Stink. Stink wants to join the group, so he's got to bring a scary story. He brings the best goddamn story. He does. So it starts off with the flashback in the fifties. The janitor is a lifeguard then, and his brother gets like captured by the evil spirit of the Red no, Man no, no. Float. It's, uh, it's his girlfriend's brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Girlfriend's brother. I mean, it, it, same thing. That's um, like the heaviest episode we watched tonight. Definitely. Just like because of actual murder and tr like 40 a man, years of guilt. 40 years of guilt and trauma and just shock. So I, I the, the, the last pondering, I talked yes. about how I like children's horror because like yeah. you try to find that line that you're allowed to cross. With the dead man's float, do you think that if he was a little bit like a goopier and drippier, that they would have told them you can't do that? That's too much. Yes, I think yeah. there. I think there's a good reason why he's dry and doesn't leave a blood trail because I I I, I think they pushed it. Him just they being really red, pushed it. I was really surprised. Like, I'm, I was surprised just by like the blood dripping out of the drain. They've had blood in some episodes. They just it's usually about that amount. They don't have tons. There's one where there's vampires in a hospital killing people, and there's bits of blood, but not like yeah. a pool. They just can't have much. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Because like the the costume design for the the dead man was genuinely like good i liked it i i wanted to see him in the middle of a wrestling ring i wanted to see him fighting i want to i want to see him hit somebody with an elbow drop brendan did think it was going to be a wrestler and i looked it up and it was it's the guy not, who yeah. plays george washington in civ 5 yeah <laughs> this is true that yeah. is the dead man real. Float. i mean to be fair george washington also dead man float because he got those wooden teeth oh that's true right across the delaware River. it was very strange seeing they very much try to americanize it and then the kids start say like, "I'm sorry." Yeah, that's the giveaway. Oh, I don't know about that. They're growing up, little American kids. You don't know. I didn't know Goosebumps was a uh, Canadian until we talked about it right now. I think that might have had a bit yeah. more American actors for some of them, but most were just right there in Canada. Wait, is is R.L. Stein Canadian? No, nah, because there's not a single Goosebump story about poutine. He's 80. Oh my god! Really? He old. Was, he was like doing cre writing credits for the those Netflix movies, the Fear Street movies. Yeah, Fear Street was also yeah. another series of books. I think he did after just more teen focus. It was the young adult one. They were basically yeah. still just Goosebumps, but sometimes someone Shots. would say, "Damn." Fear Fear Street, I think, goes a bit farther. the The movie Fear Street goes oh, a bit sure. farther, and there's actual like gore. I like those movies. They're they're like I think they're good beginners horror movies. The Fear Street Part One, Two, and Three. Tell, uh, the actual fun. Goosebumps movie is fun too. Oh, I, haven't I haven't seen, seen that seen second it. one though. I haven't seen the first one. I know that the 13 Reasons Why Kid is in the... I say kid, but I think he's the same age as me, so... <laughs> Have you guys seen R.L. Stein's Haunting Hour? Like the oh, movie? yes! 
yes. yes. Yeah, that, that scared the fuck out of me as a little kid. Shout out to Arl Stein. I tried to get in the Goosebumps fan club and I got in trouble. What? For what? <laughs> they had this, uh, oh, I've talked about this somewhere else, but I, um, they had this thing in the back of some books where you can mail in like your $30 or something. It was probably a sizable amount for a kid back then. You would get posters. You would get, it came in a like tombstone box. Yeah. Okay. I found a, uh, I was Wait, just looking to make sure you could find the box. for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool as I hell. Found when one. I was a kid, I was part of the Jackie Chan Adventures uh, club. Yo! Yeah. I didn't know that existed. Yeah, I still have all the Jackie Chan Adventures talismans somewhere with the card game that came with the magazine. It was very popular in French Canada. Okay. I don't know if it was anywhere else. I found it's this. Yo! Oh, that's wow. It's so really cool. cheap. It's 10 bucks. Plus $2 of shipping and handling. There might have been a pricier one. I, I thought it was with? more, but I guess the little kid brain made it feel like more. Yeah. It, it came you. with Goosebumps watch, Goosebumps bandana, water bottle, sticker sheet, pencils, monster blood eraser, and a subscription to the official newsletter, The Scream. Billy, well, while we're on Earl Stein, you'll love this. Uh, the Haunting Hour, don't think about it. The movie that scared the fuck out of me as a little kid had Tobin Bell as one of the major characters in Yo! it. Wow. I love Tobin Bell. That's did he, fucking did he rad. Trap anybody? Uh, he was the owner of the Halloween shop that like sold the haunted book to that girl. Yo. Yeah, that, that checks out. Dude, Tobin, I, I saw a picture of him like as a teenager and it fucked me up. Why does he look like he's 50 when he's tw like 16? That's probably why they only gave him the hat in that one movie. They said, how do we de-age him? Show us pictures of him as a kid. <laughs> oh fuck it In just put a hat saw, on him saw seven no yeah. saw seven is the carousel i think i think it was like final saw saw the final because chapter trap stopped because jigsaws when the numbering stopped yeah right yeah. no it's when it, it, it stopped at uh the traps come alive final okay. chapter well, saw, saw the final 3D. chapter <laughs> yes yeah, right 3D, saw the 3D. final chapter the uh, dude the entire they 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 like nerfed that title i guess because it was saw 3d the final chapter the traps come alive <laughs> hoffman's <laughs> such a fucking gorilla he, that is so accurate hoffman's he so really fucking, fucking stupid until yeah. you see him discover fire in a movie like a caveman when he's burning evidence and then he gets way smarter at using traps saw is like my it is like my favorite series it's so I fun haven't seen, haven't seen any of them they're so dumb I'm not saying they're smart. I'm saying they're dumb. Because oftentimes I tell people this, and then they're like, well, this shit is fucking stupid. And it's like, yeah, no fucking... Of course it's stupid. That's what's fun. There is a lot of weirdly smart stuff in it. Like, but through the series, you think they're going to get really stupid. Which they do in some areas, but how they set things up is so fucking ridiculous. I like the, set the setups are ridiculous, but they it's make sense It's being baffled at how much planning this man does and then when the coincidences start coming together like why he's mad about the door oh the door the, the, oh and the, we can't the door, get into this the door we lore keeps growing with each door. movie with the, <laughs> that in, in, one of the funniest the door is the funniest thing ever because and it, and they keep bringing it back and adding movie, more yeah every you saw movie they there when you go into the backstory it slowly like the camera literally zooms out just a little bit every movie and you see that another character was implicated yeah. with the door incident oh my others god others were present for the door incident oh dude i amazing movies i i think they're amazing and then jigsaw is just fucking boring it's really jigsaw's boring. out of character and then spiral is fucking boring as well i'm i can't wait for saw x i thought chris rock was pretty good in spiral he's very good at being jaded he was pretty good but the problem is I, everything else i feel like i i don't know i don't i don't even want to get into why spiral just doesn't work for me i, I want to see if they do more with it see on the prequel they're doing hate, i hate that he it the comedy is so obviously like hey chris be funny it's yeah. so obvious that the entire comedy is that it's annoying either way 
The dead man uh, floated well. The dead man attacked the float, and now he's banned from the Macy's Thanksgiving parade. <laughs> nice. We did it. We it, did it. It was it was my favorite of the four tonight. I think my favorite was still Crimson Clown. If you guys <laughs> let, let's go through like everybody's ratings, just because I'm pretty curious. Like, are we from, are going to art and from each worst, one. I'll yes, but them. first, first, let's first hear them, then art versus cool, and then uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just categorize, curious. It, categorize it properly. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just curious. Let's go from like least favorite to favorite. My least favorite was probably Midnight Madness. I don't know. I, I just kind of found it a bit boring and it, it dragged on a lot. Third is Badge because it, it, it is boring, but because of Badge being such a fucking weirdo, it kind of boosted it up a bit. Because they thought of him dying in a glue yeah. trap. Yeah, exactly, with a fat <laughs> ass, and now I can't stop laughing. Call, Call to arms. arms. My way. second one is Dead Man's uh. Float, because it just is a good episode, and my, my number one is Crimson Clown, and I think that probably has a lot to do with nostalgia. I think I think I would have that exact same order. Yeah. Except, I might, no, I might switch Midnight and uh, Badge. Because I like I like Doctor Vink. I do like Doctor. I like Vink how it was a very. It seemed like a very. It, it dragged a bit, but it did seem more of like, "Ooh, you broke my deal, so I'm gonna get back at you." And then, oh, I've bought the theater. I think of all the move, uh, the movies of all the episodes we watched. Badge doesn't have badge is, badge is kind of nonsense. Happens. It just happens. Yeah. Midnight, Midnight Madness feels more like a an actual ghost story. You could you would tell. I can see which that. I like it for that. I don't. I didn't like hate any of them. Or was like, no, oh, this I, is like I didn't shit. They, like they, they, they were all pretty okay. Dead Man's Fault was. I, I'm curious about which episode would be the worst, but I feel like it would probably be one of the newer episodes, like the fucking reboot. And I don't know if we, I would even count. It's that. It's different because the reboot, at least what I saw of it, it's like a continuous story. It's not like they're doing one-offs. Oh, it's like fucking American Horror Story for really. Uh, yeah. It's not like kids telling ghost stories around. No, campfire. it's it's about like they're forming the Midnight Society, but there's like a scary carnival nearby. The fuck? There's oh. there's a monster chase them eventually. I think I'm gonna hey, try it you, out if after. You, if you try That's it out, let me know because I kind of want to watch it. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll try it out. If there's a worse episode of the original one, it's probably going to be something Sardo related because he owns a magic shop, and sometimes they just don't necessarily find something scary they just find an inconvenient magic thing it's like oh no our hands are tied together what do we do help us sardo it's hard to remember the really bad ones because they you, they do just leave your brain immediately after watching it i think my ratings are almost identical to mandy's it's like badge is my least favorite midnight madness crimson clown Dead man float. <laughs> now do I think about it? Maybe asking for the tier was dumb because everybody has the same. Let me tier. let me let me be the, no. Let oh. me be the outlier. Oh, here. Uh, oh you're I'm, gonna be I'm, fucking. I'm, I'm, you're right. gonna be weird again. Least he favorite. Crimson Cloud. Bad. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Third least. Th number three. Crimson Cloud. Okay. Well, that hate yeah. clowns hated that yeah. kid. Yeah. Did not like it. That kid was a wimp. And even though that one or two of the effects were all right. I just, I just could not get absorbed into it. Aside from like the stretchy arms, I just did not like Crimson Clown mm -hmm. that much. I didn't hate it. I just, I did not like it as much as my number one, which yeah. number two, sure. Dead Man Float. Really I thought it was good. I like the creature. Mm -hmm. Uh, pretty all right. I, 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 I was like, I was like, yeah. I feel like they could have had a little bit more creature running in it. If I had one criticism, it does just show up and it yeah. dies quite it's, quickly. It's a little too fast. I feel like they could have well, like I mean, petered it out a little bit more, but that's like minutes. the way it is with every episode where like the last five to eight minutes is where the monster shows up and does monstery things, yeah. right? Yeah. Number one, Midnight Madness. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, okay, I'm surprised. I'm not because I these like, aren't okay. too far apart from each other for me. They're not, they're not like, there's not a huge power gap. Badge might have the biggest power gap, but... The other three are pretty solid. Midnight Madness and Crimson Clown are pretty close together for me. I could switch them depending on the day. What I really loved about Midnight Madness were not only the transition from like the color to the black and white world, but also the like full setup to it and the the theater itself. Like everything in it felt like you could take this this episode of the show and you could extend it into its own yeah. thing. And and like you could do that with all of these, of course, but like that that's the one where I was like, man, I kind of wanted to see I kind of wanted to see that, but on yeah. a larger scale. Mm. But I'm also a huge last action hero <laughs> head. Like that's my favorite Arnie movie. It was and, very much in that wheelhouse. 
It was very yeah. much what if last action hero a little bit, but Except evil and the vampire of Arnie, come out it's and a attack. Little kid that just jumps into the movie. No, I mean a little kid jumps in the movie in Last Action Hero. I haven't yeah. seen that in a while. Yeah. It does have like such a feel of this could be bigger. You could have his other spooky tapes. You could have it more drawn out. It, it, it left me wanting more. Yeah. Especially with Dr. Vink being such a character. I think yeah. they do a pretty decent job with what they've kind of got. Yeah. Most of the Dr. Vink ones are good. When he shows up, you're going to see something weird. So I think as a whole, Are You Afraid of the Dark? I would say it's art. From what I've seen of Goosebumps, I would say Goosebumps is cool. Are You Afraid of the Dark is art. And I'm trying to figure out in words why I think that. I would agree with that because many Goosebumps episodes are very, you can tell Arl Stein was banging them out pretty quick. Yeah. They'll have creepy red herring man or weirdo is actually the good person. Parent or like trusted figures betray or like if you watch yeah. them a lot are just almost fine to replace on an element. Hey, but yeah. the haunted mask episode. Great. Haunted they Mask Part 2 is hard. great too. Yeah. But the four monster bloods. Mm. Mm. No, the monster are bloods you, got tiny. Yes. And they didn't make you <laughs> remember, big anymore. Remember when they slugs? Yeah, the slugs. Remember when the monster blood was just slugs? That's that the one I was thinking of. Because there are some goosebumps ones that get kind of out there or the twists get really fucking stupid. Like, yeah. this camp was on an alien oh, planet. Like the camp one? Yeah. You're practicing for one. Earth. Welcome to Camp Fear. That one's so oh, fucking camp stupid. Fe- oh my god, I forgot about that It sets that up one. all these really it's fucking so interesting dumb. mysteries and it goes, it's because we're all aliens and practicing for Earth. Is there four monster blocks? Beast from the East probably is the funniest. There might be five, I actually. I thought there was only three. There's five. I, five or six, I think. Why is Why monster blood, dude? Why? Of all, know, man, of all, man, like what if a slime blood. made you big and you just kept going from there? Beast from the East has my favorite Goosebumps ending. The ending though, oh, what was the game they were playing? Was it? Oh no, it was just tag. I think because they had to play tag, and when he wins tag, it's you did it. You're now level three. You are free to clear the woods, and he keeps going. And there's a new beast, and he goes, "Go away, beast. We're level three. He goes, "Oh, I am too." Tag, you're it. There's a uh, there's six monster bloods, by the way. There are six. We need more horror land. We need a new horror land PC game. The one with Jeff Goldblum. Oh yes. my god. They should go back to making those give yourself goosebumps books. I loved those. Yeah. Choose your own. I only had the one where the clown fun. break uh he crashes your birthday party. I think we've talked about this one before. Oh, the clown one? Yeah, yeah. I also had that one as a kid, and that helped compound my uh my clown fear. Because I remember trying to use his paintball gun to get him, but the acid didn't work on him. You had to use the regular paintball gun because that made him look silly and he got real mad. It came from beneath the sink. I had the, Ooh, I had the, the gruel. puppet one. I had the puppet one. Slappy. Slappy? Slappy? Night, yeah. Night Living Dummy. That one's really popular. Night Living Dummy. That got one. so many yeah. episodes. And it, he's a big uh, he's a big part of the movie, too. Yeah, I, I think Are You Afraid of the Dark ha- is more art than cool, just because of, I don't know, it, it just feels more... What's the word I'm looking for? It's like the, a little less sanitized, I think. Yeah, it's less sanitized. It's There's more There's a little like, more death, a little more... Bad they're trying they, they're they trying try a bit more. more they try to push it they they try to push the boundary and they try to re- they they fucking try to scare kids dude they're good That's too because cool. they they we didn't watch any of those i no we didn't but they have many where you end up with a fate quite worse than death. Yeah, no, that's what I was because saying Because they can't earlier. do the kid dies, but they'll do much worse things happen. Yeah, and that's super interesting and also fucked up. Some I remember some of those were just really messed up I yeah i agree with that. that yeah it's it's art through the lens of a child dr vink attacks the town well he attacks children which should land him in fucking jail Ooh, that was a spooky episode and it would not have been possible without the help from our patrons such as alan diver art of Vagen, beer blind but funny boo poo caffeine addicted chemist cheese dreams Christian B, Dasul Burt, Delling City, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, John Requires Lasagna, Kawaii Boy Toy, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Mr. Shirt, Random Diamonds, Rocco Man, Samuel, Nothing Worth Mentioning, Smeet Mono, Spherical May, Teague, The Frost Ace, 
the Snaxolotl, Winnie Rab, and Will9455. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you next time. Ooh.